In the annals of Hollywood history, few character actors have left as indelible a mark as Struther Martin. Born on March 26, 1919, in Kokomo, Indiana, Martin's journey to becoming one of cinema's most recognizable faces was one of determination, talent, and a touch of Southern charm. From an early age, Martin displayed a natural knack for performance. He honed his skills in local theater productions before eventually making his way to the bright lights of Broadway. It was there that he caught the eye of Hollywood talent scouts, who recognized his unique blend of charisma and versatility. Martin's film career began in the 1950s, with small roles in westerns and crime dramas. His rugged good looks and commanding presence made him a natural fit for the tough guy roles that would come to define his early career. But it was his distinctive drawl and deadpan delivery that truly set him apart, earning him a reputation as one of the silver screen's most memorable character actors. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, Martin Starr continued to rise as he appeared in a string of iconic films. His collaborations with director Sam Peckinpah, including The Wild Bunch and Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, showcased his ability to bring depth and nuance to even the most rugged of characters. But it was Martin's role as the sadistic prison warden in the 1967 film Cool Hand Luke that catapulted him to fame. His unforgettable line, What we've got here is failure to communicate, became one of cinema's most quoted phrases, cementing his status as a cultural icon. Martin's career spanned over four decades, during which he appeared in over 175 films and television shows. From westerns to comedies to dramas, he tackled a wide range of roles with equal parts wit and gravitas, leaving an indelible mark on each character he portrayed. Off-screen, Martin was known for his warmth, generosity, and down-to-earth demeanor. He eschewed the glitz and glamour of Hollywood in favor of a quiet life with his family, earning the respect and admiration of his peers in the process. In 1980, Martin passed away at the age of 61, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. His contributions to cinema are immeasurable, and his impact on the art of acting is felt in every performance by the countless actors who have followed in his footsteps. Though he may be gone, Struther Martin's presence lives on through the timeless characters he brought to life on the silver screen. With his unforgettable performances and larger-than-life persona, he remains an enduring icon of Hollywood's golden age, forever immortalized in the hearts and minds of movie lovers everywhere.